So, hello, good morning, welcome to Barcelona. This is all right with this camera and tripod. <laughs> that was it, wasn't clicked in. That sort of film in the Bloodsport video the other day. Right, completely different video. Right, so this is the start on the big camera. Only taking this camera now, 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 now. This is the camera that I broke in New Zealand. So, this could be the camera's last holiday. I thought we'll call it. But for now, let's get this data rolling. What happened? Shits was sick. On you? On the court and in the car door. In the car door? Well, I thought it'd be better than going under the actual seat. If it's just on plastic, then it'll be easy wipe off. Tyra. I mean, we're not picking Tyra up, me mum has to, but well done, Tyra. Tyra. This is what you get for giving me away. Well, you booked a nice hotel here for us to live. But for you, it's perfect. <laughs> Look, you can see everyone. And you've got a lovely view out the back as well. Validate that car. So, being in the car today, got some time to kill, so I'm back home. I'm actually going to paint this wall. Just red again. Never occurred to me until I moved in that that picture up there is the same red as the wall. And then there's a tree outside, so I bought that picture ages ago. Conspiracy theory. I've got a plan for this wall, but I've been putting off painting it because of the dog and the tail, so there's no dog and tail in time to drive. Drive! Dry! Hold on. Finally painted. Need to definitely wipe this camera. That's my next little job. But it's hoovering downstairs. The other night, I said to Jack, I says, because we were watching Ghostbusters last night, not the other night, last night, I said to Jack, oh, when you move the couch, careful, Brits jigsaws underneath there. She picked a picture of the cosmos and the star alignment. So it's been an ongoing thing for ages. And uh, she just broke the Hoover. And the Hoover is working downstairs. But yeah. What's in there? Jigsaw pieces. Does she know that? No. What's in there? What's in there? What? What are you doing? You have broke the Hoover. I haven't broke the Hoover. What's in there? Something. Have a look. Dog? Get a light. Oh. Oh. Idiot, what's in there? Jigsaw piece. There's part of the bus <laughs> for 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, that window wasn't good enough for the shot, Jesus. haven't even got out of Newcastle. How are we going to take that to Barcelona? After this debacle, what's upside down? After that debacle <laughs> and him, um, that's it. We're going for the train station now. Not doing any more shops. I haven't got out of Newcastle. We found Chris Hunter and Glenn, because we've got a problem. <laughs> it won't fit in the suitcase. I'm so glad we bumped into Chris Hunter. What a savior. The train. That's what I climbed up last time I was here. And I stayed at Gally's. Gally actually lives just down near me now. Um, check out Welcome to Edinburgh 1 and 2. Um, but yeah, can't buy anything. Can't. Or a camera obscure. Good way to catch COVID, isn't it? Touch the ball. <laughs> Hello, touch it. Possession. I've been possessed. Help. Hello. I'm in the city and look, swap nose, but you got masks on. Look at that creep on the other side. Look at that, concentrating on her vlog. A bit windy, my little fort. It's a little bit windy up here while Britt takes in photography. 
Dun dun dun. It's there. Oh, ah, look at that. Caught in the making. <laughs> Tony, you're massive. <laughs> massive head. Focus on the camera, focus on the camera, and you're perfectly fine. Yeah, oh. No, you're not. Oh my God. No, you're not. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> you're gonna have to come this way. You can't get across the bridge. Walk forward. It's, it's just normal. Come on, you can do it. I've been here before. Are you ready? Oh my god. Pennywise. Oh, don't say it's Pennywise, man. Hello? Hello? Pennywise? Oh Where are you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ha <laughs> It's a trick. It's a trick. I'm stuck in the box. Food is here. Vegetarian food as well. We are looking for the bus, I went, there's the bus. I had to run across the streets. It was like, don't make this run, me sticky toffee pudding. <laughs> and now we're in a taxi. Now in an elevator. Need a wing. It's like being back in Sheffield. <laughs> oh, it is, it's the same company, isn't it? It's almost the same way, the hallway and on the right. The same way around. There was one thing on Cockburn Street I was interested in, Mondo's uh, Freddy vs Jason vinyl. Obviously they brought a variant out. Because I like the music, I like the cross between um, Nightmare on Elm Street and um, Friday the 13th. Mm. Uh, but where am I going to put it? You know, so I've seen it in a shop randomly, so it should be available in the rest. So. It's way too early. It's even early. It's two o'clock in the morning. Mm, waiting on the taxi. <laughs> oh, planes, trains, and automobiles. Not even three a.m. Mm -hmm. Eerie, eerie, quiet. Hello, we're in duty free. Security passed. <laughs> Mental checking. Got your passport? Yeah. You got your COVID pass? Yeah. Have you got your Spanish pass? Yeah. First woman in the queue. Chaos. She just walked up, like, and hadn't seen her the entire time away, and just walked up and was like, I'm first. Like, alright. Got to the thing and had nothing ready. He was just like, mm -hmm. hey, that's exciting. Good job, no one's sleeping at five o'clock in the morning while you're playing the piano. Doesn't matter. Uh, hey, it's late to catch. Five o'clock in the morning, I'm in a bookshop with bread. Another bus. A little crowned. Steer away! So I got off a train to go up the gates escalator to another train. Just passed a Liberal Democrat rant on the television. Bought it past that very quickly on the way to the hotel. I think we might have got off at the wrong stop. Beyond hot, still two miles away from the hotel. After a 97 minute walk in the red hot sun with a backpack on and a suitcase, well, it goes cluggity clog clog, cluggity clog clog, clog, and like I've forgotten how ignorant some of the Spanish can be. Some, I said some, just like, <laughs> so we just got the hotel anyway. Um, no view. Dun dun dun. But yeah, it's awesome. In some rare uh, funky park that probably wasn't Tony Ox Pro Skater at some point.
This was videos of the element, <laughs> but no, it's all in Spanish. It's the Rocketeer. Hello, so we checked into our hotel. We got a quick freshen up, changed some clothes. Now we're on a hunt for some food. We were going to go to Tannhauser Toys, but it's closed for a few hours and so it reopens at five o'clock. So we're going to go back there. Um, a lot of retro toys in that shop. Check them out on Instagram. Um, yeah, so we're just having a wander, looking for some food. Um, not gonna have a big one tonight because we want to go to the zoo tomorrow and we did just walk for 97, 97 minutes to get to the hotel. So yeah, just be a chill one today. Sure. Check them out on Instagram. So, we're back at the hotel just for a bit of a rest break. Doing a big loop. This day never seems to end, it's the longest day ever. It's only just gone four o'clock. We had some food, it was nice. Um, some of that was missed on camera, but Britt was filming the other direction and the guy must have thought it was filming him. So every time I go away, or land in some city, there's always something strange and bizarre. Um, notoriously known from the better than FA days is the guy in the street corner in Amsterdam masturbating with a big afro. Um, and obviously you can't put stuff like that on the internet, can you? Um, and then when I got to uh, Prague, this woman just dropped her pants and had a shit right in the middle of the bush across from us. I was like, wow. And uh, Britt was filming, broad daylight. This guy was just started whipping his dick out, like proper flicking it up. But obviously Britt was like, hi, I'm Britt. Wow, oh, we're in Barcelona. And this guy was like viciously flicking his dick in broad daylight. I was like, wow. Viciously flicking his dick? <laughs> he was, wow. but you were totally, like, if you watch your vlog video, it's him walking behind you. And that's the only way you're going to get who that was on camera. But, yeah. Yeah, but we've uh, spotted a few shops today, but they've all been like um, anime. anime and then um, a couple of, uh, obviously all the shops are Spanish, uh, books and all that, so it was a really good uh, comic book shop, um, but a lot of anime orientated stuff, so no purchases yet, no need for another suitcase, because we've only got 10 key, um, and Brit said, oh don't worry, I was only 7, and at the airport when it was properly weird, it was 9.4. Yeah. So yeah, next bit of the video. Bridge brought us to this massive maze place. This here is a retro toy shop, which there is right here. <gasps> wow. I bought one thing for nostalgia. One. Totally hidden, but the three shops together. Needed that. I've woke up after watching Dangerous Minds because everything's in Spanish on the telly and I'm hungry. It's only nine o'clock and I'm in the middle of Barcelona. I've got to be able to get some food from somewhere. We have found a pizza just around the corner. Oh no, it's bad. <laughs> the fucking York thing. Now we're at a cake shop waiting on the pizza. Don't do it. No, no, it's not coming back. It took longer hair to get a cake than I did a store of pizza. Talk about the last customer nightmare. <laughs> You're an absolute nightmare uh -huh. there. 
I've honestly never seen someone cause so much chaos over a fucking witch muffin it is. God, man. And then never seen someone be disappointed because you ordered some chips. <laughs> we got crisps, obviously, chips, fries. Do you know when you took this off yesterday? Yeah. You know what you put it over? The room service. <laughs> you know, we realised we've got room service. How much that would have saved us last night? Problem solved. So welcome to day three. Two. Free. Oh, of the adventure. Since Scot we can't wipe Scotland out. Okay. It's said weird that I can still see you in the shop. Oh, hello. Hiya. But yeah. Oh shit, I need some shoes. <laughs> What's that? That is match a matcha cookie. <laughs> That should be nice. Lies. No, honestly, it's really nice. So we flew from there, and now we're here. Last time we were on a plane, we flew from There. I mean, parents could live any too far away, could they? So yeah. So where's next on the map? Apparently, if you're watching this, the next map appearance is meant to be here. <laughs> For once a year, there's a wrestling fight. Seriously, what just happened there? Locked I was the talking shop. about the map, and the door was locked. They just locked us in. Is your car? Yeah. It's stolen here. I know. Look at it's loud. Lego shops making us wear a mask. I mean, not that I've travelled far, with just me normal mask, but then. Uh... Oh dear. Of course, the first one to find the license to drive. We are in the most dangerous place to us. Look what I found so far. <laughs> so that's the second trip abroad in our whole relationship and we found a copy of License to Drive. Like, wow. <laughs> oh dear. That was expensive. Been in here a while. It's getting expensive. Only the second shop. Hello? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Open your bottles though. Look, Brit. Yeah. I'm a polar bear stuck in the window. I never want to hear that you can't get past something ever again in our show. Yes, my mask is rocking, isn't it? Um free record shop so far in nothing bought, which is a good thing because I don't think the fitness of kids anyway, hence the lost boys. But yeah. Another street, another shop. <laughs> Seeing another guy with his willy out, viciously flicking it. This is one of the biggest bookshops I've ever been dragged into. <laughs> We're looking for Matt Haig. What you found? We're on the Spanish edition of Midnight Library. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at it. <gasps> that guy got his willy out. Barcelona's mega complex sports shop for football. Never thought that would be. We're in for Brit's nephew, so. There is food everywhere. Oh. Fun time for being a vegetarian. Oh my dear. Fries. A cone of chips. Cone chips. They've got the spiral teeth. What are you eating? Potato on a stick. Spiral.
lot easier if I didn't have all the shopping. The changing head. It looks 3D, but then it's not. Right, ready for go down the bottom end for a bit, bottom end the course bit, have some food, maybe some beer or so, then come back because tomorrow we've got a zoo and the video shop. Okay. And yes, oh, sorry, that's why I'm glad we didn't order takeaway from the hotel last night. Squid. Oh, don't. don't say I didn't come to the beach. There we go, one foot on the beach, one foot off. Jaws is out there, be safe. Don't say I didn't come to the beach. We've walked from there, trying to get some food. The whole length of the beach. The problem is, it's like roll blades, scooters, cyclists, cars, bikes. It's got to dodge everything. Like, run us coming. Here him. But them little um, scooters. Zoom. <laughs> Okay, hello, you've just seen me just pointing to the corner and hopefully this footage cut in all right until Matt was here was like, what are you doing? No. Um, we sat down for some food and straight away the biggest problem with that place was the food, was the guy next to us just started smoking and I'm like, I can't eat food with smoke, being an ex-smoker. So I had a pint and now we're back, considering we've walked all the way from there. In the age of technology, when Brits obviously got the Apple Watch phone and stuff like that, and um, Brits being like the money man, so, yeah. money man. <laughs> but we don't have any cash whatsoever. It's just all contactless and money out of nowhere. And we just stopped one of these biker men. You know how much? I won twenty euros. Brit was like, "I'll give you free." And he put a look, he's cute. This is the Lamborghini. But yeah, we're trying to find a bar for food. The high rise standard. It's a high rise sibling. Good. This is Lamborghini. You're stalking us. I'm gonna write a short story about that. Lamborghini. See, he's purposely gonna go the way we're going <laughs> because you're trying to get him for euros. No, it looks like rubbish, but it's actually a person on the floor. It's scary. We've come to the bollocks. Bollocks is the trillions of Barcelona. That was the best five euro, considering the taxi last night into Edinburgh, where the fuck we were, it was only 20 quid UK, five euros from one side of Barcelona to the other. Brits a bit pissed. And now we're in a shop. That has just ended. Oh, that's fine. I'm going this way. Come on. <laughs> Brits at the toilet again. We want to just go back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. Please don't ever do that. Oh. What? That. What? That. Playing the keyboard? Mm-hmm. Why? Because my grand's partner used to do it all the time and it annoys me and my mum. What? Because he used to go every time he went for coffee, for a drink. But I'm not your granddad and I'm not going for coffee. It's not your granddad. I might be an alien from, I might be a hand, hand face. Oh my god. Coming to get nude. Oh. Higher hicks. Pass that menu. So what's going on there? <laughs> Instant zoom in. Dusting. Don't do that. Consequently. <laughs> Ganon. Ganon. See you later. Okay. You're on the wrong floor. Bye. <laughs> Okay as well, get in. <laughs> They're not happy steps. <laughs> what's the matter? You're a dick, that's what's the matter. <laughs> At least it was only one floor. Welcome to the final day in Barcelona. Um, it's a good night last night, some randoms have um, knackered. Um, 
So we're going to be up really early in the morning. Um, just a bit like, like I said, uh, Edinburgh. Mental last night, I don't think we realised this, but when we were sitting in bollocks and uh, we had this table and four lads were like, oh, can we sit here? We said, yeah, it's fine, from Scotland. So random. But yeah. So the plan is zoo, a few shops, back, pack. Mm -hmm. Not backpack, back and pack. Um, and then basically just get ready to go home. So yeah. Isn't that right, Stink? That yeah, Stink. So what'd you do? Nothing. What'd you do? Nothing. You left the key in the cart and have it so get again. Do you realise you still got time to before? For fuck's sake. No, I don't. Seriously, if that was England, it would have been left to rot ages ago. I would hate it going up there, painting that. It's amazing though. We're in the park. That looks like just the one concert park. Probably find Jake Kearney having a shit in that bush over there. <laughs> Alright. Hello? What? He's 17. He's 17 of my new friends. What? Oh, nothing. I just want a photo. I thought you were dissing the 17 video. No. Okay. Still haven't let us put the sign poster up in the house, though, have you? No, I'm not putting an East 17 sign poster up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> big, big park, this. Looking for the entrance to the zoo. So, if you watch Welcome to IT Adora, it's probably the first time I've mentioned that. Um, I get dragged to. Auckland Zoo with me mum and Brit, but also Wellington Zoo with me two brothers Sam and Calvin, so that was awesome. And now I'm in another zoo. So, you pick a bird and then chop, chop, chop. Roger, come and fight. Imagine if you put your kid on there to pose for a picture. There's no barrier. Like, fuck me. When the thunder called you from a mountain high. So that was the zoo. A bit disappointing that the aquatic area wasn't open, like, but uh, the reptiles at the end was awesome. Um, we're just trying to find this video shop now. And then we need a pack. And then think about it, we need a second suitcase. I think we're all right for now. Maybe it's not.
walking. Invasion. Walk faster, walk faster, fast everyone, walk faster. About the beat in the middle of the uh, press conference. We've definitely done some miles um, over the last couple of days, but this is 25 year old video shop still in Barcelona, just like Arrow Video in Welland. That's Arrow without a W. Interesting to see what it's like, so let's see. So we're still walking, the map lied to us. So it's a couple of blocks up and a couple of blocks to the left. <laughs> Hasn't rained, which is good. Um, did find a music record shop that had the original Dick Tracy in, pretty battered. Um, moonlighting Bruce Willis. But uh, contemplating, we'll get the shop out of the way, then we're going to get back to the hotel and pack and see what the weight ratio is like. We're still going, we're still walking. Oh, it's closed. Oh no! I don't worry about it. It's okay. Don't! Come here, it's okay. We're here, we can't buy anything, we just came to look. I can see. There's cinema inside of it and everything. Um, wow! Uh, four years ago, uh, we are in another location. Right, okay. Oh, right, okay. Fuck, look at that. Oh, oh wow! God. That's incredible. If I spot some it, I would wait. <laughs> yeah. If I would spot some it, I would wait. Look at all this. Yeah. La Cosca, the thing. A lot of the VHSs are like the films I've never even heard of. Mental being just left. Alone. Alone. Hello. Just so many. That's how it should be. This is how it should be. It's five miles back to the hotel. We'll get in a taxi. Elves have been. Okay, we're just about to pack and I actually want to unbox this here in Barcelona because this has got to get packed and I mean oh. It's a risk that this could get damaged because of the suitcase and stuff, because it's not a normal suitcase. Yada yada yada. But what colour is it? Let's have a look inside. Now, Village of the Damned has been released on Blu-ray. It has a limited batch out there. It's not known as one of John Carpenter's bigger films. Um, it's got Meredith, so I can never say her name. Our oh, Dream a Little Dream in there as well. Um, almost an unforgettable film, we've not revisited that much. Um, but again, collecting John Carpenter's scores. I missed out on this on Record Store Day. My friend Glenn, who picked up Therapy Vinyl and Aliens, um, and there wasn't many of these about in the UK, um, unlike what's happened with Ghost of Mars on the second batch. Um, quite recycled paper, face exploding on the back. Let's have a look inside. It's, uh, they've went for like the Abbots there on the right, big synapsis. Shooting on there, as I say, it's, it's almost unforgettable. Um, so let's have a look. So there's two vinyls, um, no DLC. Um, we looked into this, it goes for about 60 to 70 pounds on eBay. Uh, a lot of people do just snap up the record store there and stuff, but John Carpenter scores are mint. Um, wow, look at that like bleeding blood orange. Um, that's really, really cool. I believe they're both the same. So that's really, really cool to pick them up and say, like, can I? I see you. But like me Dartman vinyl I've got. But yeah. So yeah, I thought I'd do that now, here, because it's getting packed and we'll see how that goes. Next bit of the video. The last night in Barcelona. Oh no. Where are we going? For food. Back to you then. Lead the way. See where you get us to tonight. What? See where you get us tonight. Oh, shut up. This isn't the right floor at all. Now fall flat again, would you not? Oh, did you do that, did you? Well, the lift just randomly stopped on a random floor. Let's 
Let's go to the safe place. Uh, Hello. Hiya. I found a restaurant for food. Oh no, a crime exchange in Spain. This shop is amazing, but I'm trying to be good. How did we not spend anything there? Not for sale. We're now in an art gallery. Egg trays, extra spray paint on it. Oh yeah, the room service is really good, but you can fucking have it out in the mall for somebody to trip over in the fucking dark, crack the fucking glass and slit the fucking f glasses open. You inconsiderate fucking pricks. Jesus, man. I'm just going to go and knock on their door. Knock, knock, knock. It's still here. <laughs> I haven't left. Recycle it. Oh, the window's open as well. They might hear us. Um. <laughs> Hello, in the back room on the very last day, we're just about to leave the airport. Uh, last night I discovered this. Are you ready? Warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, cold. After about 10 minutes of the door shut, the room was like divided between warm, cold, elbow, elbow. Yep. So yeah, that was uh, bizarre last night. Absolute bizarre. But yeah, um, just doing the final room check. You don't want to leave the plug. Like that plug I talked about at the very start of this video, that we're convinced we lost when we were in Sheffield. But it was in fact in the cold pocket, which in fact I've not even used this entire trip. So yeah, we're just doing it um, last minute, everything's fat in the bag. Um, funny enough as well, funny story, the vinyls actually fit my backpack. Can you believe that? So I could have brought the Lost Boys all this time. So yeah, I'll get back and I'll be like, right! I have to wait for Chris until it comes up. Right. So, let's get ready for the rest of the day. It's still there. Mm -hmm. Go for it. That's it. Ten is the limit. We're good. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> After the tram fiasco and the massive 4.2 mile walk with the suitcase, um, we definitely opted for a taxi. Just past the venue, so it would have been a good taxi ride out. Definitely wouldn't have been more than that. So past customs, got Stedman's bottle of Jack Daniels, and a borrow mask off a random guy, out of a packet of course. Mm -hmm. It's a red one, I think I packed it. This time I get the window seat. <laughs> it's been a good trip, but today I've been called at least five times. I'm such an embarrassment. Because you're just... Oh. What, what's the matter? They keep going. What about when you did York and you were like... <laughs> Just like that, we're on a tram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So back in Edinburgh, that's what I climbed last time I was here. Mental. I've got a couple of hours to kill before the train. Spoiler alert, but he's due back this year at some point. And that is where Cab's playing in a couple of months' time. There's nothing in the room for it. Plus I'm a bit of a menace. But it's got the suitcase. We're in the shop next door.
spent nothing yet. And there's the Royal Mail again. There it is. That shop we were in on Friday, wasn't it? I came back for it. So I came back. The refillery shop. I've not seen one of these in concert. It's top of the way your mum works. It's called the Green Keepers. Yeah. Do not get the vegan burger from KFC. <laughs> whatever you do. Um, I'm sure that's meant to be my toasty. You said you want to share with us. Have you left us any? Yes. <laughs> Freezing. Behind us, we were, uh, I seen Lord Wheaton when I was waiting to come back from Scotland with one go back to England. Um, so, check out the Python review I did because that pops up in there. Yes, just bought a puzzle book. I had an urge, and you get a free pen. Oh, must have got. So, yeah, check out uh, Welton Edinburgh 1 and 2 and the Python review. Oh, it's freezing. Freezing, freezing, freezing. So while I'm waiting for me train, yes I'm doing an unboxing, but there's a train for people looking at this. Freddy vs Jason. I had my eye on the other day when I was in Scotland, obviously Edinburgh. And then I didn't say anything while I was away, violent wise, except for in my backpack. Because, uh, Breakfast Club, which I haven't seen yet. And, and, Village of the Dam, which I've already opened. Uh, but yeah, um, Mondo stuff. I'm not really a big collector of Mondo, but I don't own um, Friday the 13th. Because uh, they've been bringing them out in they're really expensive score editions, especially the latter half. Maybe we did one Jason X, yes, I want to see Jason X. Um, in Nightmare and Elm Street, the box set's like that big. You can get the first air one, it's colored vinyl as well, so I'm just going to have a quick look at this. And it's a great trade. Oh, fingers are cold. Fingers are cold. Freddy Krueger's fitness there. So yeah, I've seen this uh, advertised and I was like, oh, I like it. I know there's a variant, which I think is user friendly, environment friendly was the word. I was going to talk. Um, so it's really cool, my fun color. Oh, look at that inside. Totally worth it for that. But again, it's only one vinyl, so dipping out for the gatefold, it's pretty crazy. Um, bitch nice picture of Jason inside. But I just want to check what colour vinyl it is. Um, it just be a standard black version, I would imagine. Be now to special. What's oh, coloured? Coloured? I was not expecting that to be a colour vinyl. It was a fucking one in the last That's it. But yeah, that's awesome. I'm over the fucking one. Right, I was hoping that a train would actually go past us, but we look. There's a trade of all these people who've been watching us do that, so yeah, next bit of the video. Right, it's a coloured vinyl. Oh, it's proper. It's fucking awesome. And we're on the train again. Oh, it's insane going from like everywhere. Make sure you got a mask, make sure you do, make sure you don't touch and all that. To everyone just like getting more on my train. Just like, fuck me. We're back in Newcastle, can you tell? Security everywhere. It's so cold as well. And now we're on another bus. Yay. The bus home. We've just passed Chris Hunters who has my Lost Boys vinyl. <laughs> Should have like pulled over the bus and like got to chuck through the window. And now we have to walk a mile. <laughs> oh, there she is! <laughs> Stinky! Hiya! 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 Hello! <laughs> So I'm just going to unpack, put some clothes away, get a washing ready. Um, the box, I don't know if you've seen that walking in, there's a one delivery. We've spent a few deliveries. Uh, Blood Sport, getting a replacement for that. Um, one of Brit's pop finals went to rise, so they're sending another one out. But that one was uh, Clogsworth from Beauty and the Beast. But the, I think we've probably got the, um, come and get it from your local office. It's our tests, COVID tests. So it's like, oh, I right, just don't deliver them, you know what I mean? Well, deliver them, but then don't tell them. So I want to unpack a little bit. Has it survived? Pretty decent. It has survived. Hello from Britball. Um, he's told us to do a mini unboxing. Of your stuff. Of my stuff. So, I have a list in my phone of random things I'd like to find on my wonders. And this is one of them, it was only nine euros. Breakfast Club soundtrack. 
wanted it for so long. I think waxwork should do that at one point. Enjoying um, that bone, Hyra? She's definitely enjoying that bone. <laughs> Picked a cup. Picked up a couple of things in the movie shop. So I got Edward Scissorhands. I've never seen that cover before. Oh, I'll bargain this. Jumanji double pack steel book. It's stunning for 10 euros. I mean, oh my God. So happy with that. But childhood favorite movie ever, ever, ever. Obsessed fangirl of this. I found the page master on Blu-ray. Oh my God. And he checked that it's in English and it is well I know the front doesn't look like it's English but he checked the information and it's in English so and so there's Mr Miyagi Mr Miyagi he needs his chopsticks glue back on Mr Miyagi hello 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 right probably after this we are probably going to go into the outtakes um, and then there's probably been some stuff me filmed in a couple of days or a couple of weeks by the time I get around to end this it's been mental it's been absolutely mental I'm literally going to freestyle wing this the vinyls have been put away um, Village of the Dam survived it's a little bit bent but it's fine post is fine as you've just seen in the previous clips um, traveling wise it's been mental I think that would be on the road for like 12 hours and it's only a three hour plane drive but obviously the trains the buses the biggest problem with traveling um, the English when you get back zero fucks given by the English we had to move trains because the people were loud and proud and drunk you know what I mean we went from where all the mass in Spain I took it really serious and this happened when I came back from New Zealand two years ago when the pandemic first started when like you just walked in England and I was like do you realize what's happening on the other side of the world and um, you know we've had masks on all day um, travel on the planes gets there and we're traveling um, even when we got in Edinburgh there was just a clash of two planes to get in through customs like literally bottlenecking everyone together when we kept seeing the lad we'd seen the night before randomly in Barcelona he was out to get high all night and stuff like that and he was dead kind of lad but we clashed into all that and then into a different thing it was just crazy and then we get on the train in Edinburgh and they literally open up cans of lager cans of cider drinking then getting angry because they don't know which flags the fucking Brazilian flag and stuff like that and I was like this is insane, they're not wearing the masks, and it's just fucking crazy. So that's me ranting about the fucking travelling. Um, Zero's been really mentioned about bringing the horizon date, remember the main reason we were meant to go to Barcelona. Um, the gig was cancelled, and like literally, there was no posters or anything anywhere, there's a lot of street art, a lot of posters put over the top, there was none of that either as well. So obviously we couldn't cancel the flight because of Ryanair, so that was a shame. I also haven't mentioned that like, I used to live in Spain as well for a long time because something's meant to happen with Spain down the line, the original 2004 footage. Um, a lot of that has seen the light of day in restoration over the last year. Um, a lot of stuff that wasn't preserved in the first time around the archive. A lot of it's completely like Spain never got released on Killing the Bottom in its entirety and I am trying to track down the original edit. I mean, it'll be there with the original cut of the movie. Um, quick story about it. Um, Spain was like, the producers were like, Spain's kind of fucking a bit crazy. They need to like dissect it. And Spain got dissected. So bits went to here, bits went to the outtakes. And then they were right what they said. There was, like, as I say, Killing the Bottom has four pockets of like collages of greatest hits of clips and Spain was dissected into that and there's a part one and there's a climax later on and it pays off you know what I mean they did they were right by in that but we also lost proto hero in that edit because um the Spain footage had this really big mashup of just fun footage of living in Spain and crazy times and then five years ago I was in Alicante and obviously oh, I was in Alicante and um it was a downfall of that relationship and that footage was well now the company was outlined it was just never mastered edited and it just sat in the back burner and then it just never got done because it was done it was over um but i did do a spanish collection um like this what i'm about to do um ages ago and stuff like jaws finally got it's unboxing, so there is a video about that, so we check that out, because some of the Alicante footage creeps into that. You see me running around in the forest looking for the predator and running away from the predator. Um, also, 1408 uh, Fast Forward Review was filmed in Spain as well, so some of the footage creeped on, but some of the scenic stuff just got lost. So, um, maybe revisit that down the line when I do the Spain footage down the line with other stuff coming. 
Right, so I'm proper freestyling this. This is the very end before the outtakes. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight DVDs. Eight of them. And the four posters. Oh, the posters need their own separate video. <laughs> I've got four posters. There'll have to be a jump cut at that bit. In fact, jump cut now. So, jump cut. Um, that is going to get a separate video. That's an amazing print of the Gremlins. That has survived. It needs framing, so hopefully I'm going to find a frame tomorrow and then really look into it because, yes, it's Gizmo in the shop, but there's so much going on in that. Um, there's so many elements of that errors. So, four posters have survived. We backpacked as well. So I'll quickly open the posters up because the idea is get four picture frames the same. Maybe he's put it somewhere. Really high quality, it's really high quality. First out of it, it is Howard the Duck, Japanese incarnation. You got uh, the Jeffrey the Pest there in the middle. Um, little or no Howard on it, it's got the classic egg in the corner. Tim Robbins smashing it up there, some creepy ass shadows. But yeah, it's really cool for being a Japanese quality there. It's really good quality print. Uh, the Gremlins wasn't uh, in stock, which is cool. Because it is the original, like, oh, fuck off. Brit, stop messaging the group. <laughs> it's Brit in the other room trying to be quiet. And she's messaging her mom and dad and it's binging in here. Um, next one up, Escape from New York. Um, very different kind of cover, pretty cool cover actually. So, but again, over there it's called like New York 1997. Um, it's cool, like a wing on them, right? Keep on going, keep on going. This one's Beetlejuice, and this is a bitching cover. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is the same everywhere you go. Um, when it comes to covers, oh, and that is just some funkiness that. So again, they're all going to be the same, all turned together. And the last one's pretty cool as well. I want to shift my phone. Put it back in the pocket. There was a Goonies one um, on the cliff. But yeah, didn't get that one either. Just wanted, like, when I put the upper, these four together, when they're together, I see it would be something completely different. And give a little bit of shine at other films I have. So here we go. It's Masters of the Universe. Bitching that. Bitching artwork. I do love the original VHS. I hate the DVD incarnation and the Blu-ray. I hate Action Jackson. Oh, sorry, Kong. Uh, Blu-ray incarnation as well. Um, but yeah. So the posters are out the way. So anyway, I need a jump cut because if I stand here, I really, really struggled in that video shop. Like all of them went new. There was one that wasn't even on camera because she was like, "Are you gonna be long?" I said, like, "Whoa, where's the rocket, rocketeer woman?" Um, but uh, I had a chance to pick up a load of stuff, but the weight I bought the suitcase was the issue with this. Um, the backpack was mega heavy, carrying that all around. Stedman's fucking Jack Daniels, I bought him. That was even heavier, carrying that around. So, in Edinburgh today, I picked up a t-shirt, and I went past that damage side. I was like, fucking not going in there, check out, welcome to Edinburgh, or welcome to Glasgow, whatever one it was. And like, look at this, man. Look at this. Now it's a spin on the cure, Lost Boys Don't Cry, the lyric, um, it looks like Billy Worth, um, I just think that looks class, really really cool. Um, yeah, I might have to lose a bit more weight, but yeah, it's a really nice print um, from the local artist, Billy Bragg, Bragg, something like that, something like that, I'm wrong, a lot of his prints, but a lot of his original t-shirts. Right, so, you look behind us, what do I need to buy, I don't need to buy much, but again, when you're in foreign countries like that, you do see stuff available. I kick myself for not bringing home Leviathan on DVD and also The Virus, Jamie Lee Curtis on Blu-ray, eight quid. Hummed and hard, hummed and hard, because that was impressive. You've seen Brits uh, ones before. So let's go a bit backwards here. First up, One Crazy Summer, one of my favorite films as a kid. In fact, if you go back to the other shot where I'm standing there, all this time in the background, One Crazy Summer was floating there on big box VHS. Last year at the back end it just got a release on Blu-ray in America. Um, it should be easy enough for me to get a hold of. There you go. And I'm going to do a cover to cover because the cover is completely changed as you see all the way through that. I'm going to leave that to unbox in that video itself um, and I've recently done a podcast for it but it hasn't been released. 
of One Crazy Summer. John Cusack uh, had a couple of his films, put them down. Um, but again, when you're searching for all these films and they've got different names, this was under you instead of One Crazy Summer, you know what I mean? So One Crazy Summer is a must own on DVD and it was free for two and it's got a nice slip cover as well. Right, next up, randomly I've put them down. I've put them all down. It's there. The reason why I did the posters first, Masters of the Universe. Lovely cover. It's the same as its original small box, big box of VHS. Again, I hate, I hate the DVD where it's just little He-Man and Skeletor float in the background. Plays in English and this will be part of the podcast series. It's going to be something that's going to be fast-tracked into it. Probably just be me and Carl McSoy, but hopefully have Paul Ray back for then as well. So that will be coming down the line. It's pretty cool to have. I did have it on the snap box, but again, it's a disc went missing. And then that's it. So the pile's going to go there. So again, so I didn't have that. I've got on VHS, but there we go. Next up, The Wizard. The Wizard. Christian Slater. This was a steal at four euros. Like, literally, it was from Crime Exchange. So you know what I mean? But it was stolen. Like, everywhere I looked online, it's 20, 20 quid. And then the import from Spain alone, man, you can pay it for 15, 20 pound on eBay prices. Some of the posters are mental. Christian Slater film, also known as the fucking... With Fred Savage is in there, but also known as the movie that's got King Kong in. So it pretty much could live with King Kong, but also with Christian Slater. That was a great find. Um, next up, one of the first things I found, limited edition version of Halloween. Um, this comes with, let's kind of open it up. Um, it's numbered, so of 160, uh, 160, 60, it's 245. I didn't really look at the, like, the numbers to sketch around. I went, all oh, right, cool. A lot of John Carpenter stuff there. Um, as Halloween, um, looked around. I've got a few Halloween stuff going around here, but this has got a brand new cover, and this was the reason to buy this. Um, actually, I want to leave it for another video. I want to milk the videos. Loads of postcards, and actually has the Graham Humphreys uh, picture on the back that I actually sold recently as well. But it's got a brand new colour. I want to leave it because I want to speed this bit up so that gets left for another video. Next up, Dog Soldiers on Blu-ray. Most asked for film on Blu-ray. Is meant to get a release? Yes, because he made it. Um, he is meant to send me a Japanese version of it as well. Uh, there's a couple of versions of Dog Soldiers knocking around here. Um, Blu-ray, a release of it. Shit front cover. Sorry, <laughs> it's got a shit front cover on that. Mint on the back. But I have Dog Soldiers on Blu-ray. It's awesome. Um, two more Blu-rays here. First up, Secret Admirer. I was talking about um, very young Corey Haim movie. He pops up. Um, Corey Haim stuff starting to creep out on Blu-ray. Um, stuff like Murphy's Romance and all that. So that was great to find that. Again, I love having a story. The two Corys is just all oh, that two Corys over there on DVD, which you don't normally see. I need to leave this one in my hand because this one is important. That it is. El Gran Torno, the tournament, the film we made in Bulgaria years ago. Um, same, same as the American cover, completely just whipped around. Tournament has had a cover to cover on this channel. If you want to see me talk about the tournament and the film of the tournament, I can tell you this right now. There is another tournament video coming, um, inspired by one tip. So it's going to be an off that rant like this, but all jumped up. And last but not least, everywhere I go, when it comes to the two Corys, I've been tracking stuff down. License to Drive is a movie that I just love. It's the poster in the bedroom, the American VHS, which you know was gifted to us, the big box edition. And then if you go back to Welcome to Itadora, which is 16, 17 episodes in New Zealand, a bit like what you're watching now, but very more expanded and a lot more gone over because we made a lockdown. When we were in that, when we went to the centre of New Zealand and License to Drive was up on the roof and it was a VHS and it's just like, oh my god, license to drive. Define license to drive. First one I found, um, you've probably seen Brit's reaction. Now, talk too long, didn't I? Tape ran out, didn't I? It was like two months ago. Well done, Stephen. Back to me, random. So, yeah, that is absolutely bitching to have. Um, Pat was kind of like, I might have to do a cover to cover if I haven't already. Oh, I've done a cover to cover, so. It's just one for the collection. I do have it multiple times. Papa's Cadillac, but Daddy's Cadillac, license to drive, and I'll see you in the outtakes. Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling?
here in the outtakes I forgot stuff um, I got a monster in my pocket me and Phil collaborated a little bit so um, uh, two years ago now about the monster in my pocket I've got loads of these in the attic um, I haven't found a home in the house did a video on that's an unopened one from like ridiculously long time ago but I'm going to send it down to him for his collection as I said it's an original and high resolution um, this guy this is something I bought there was a, a lot of retro stuff and as you can see I collect a lot of retro stuff but couldn't warrant um, some of the prices and stuff especially on the f second day was it the second day or the first day and uh, there was a lot going on and you gauge it you know what I mean Barcelona's a massive city and it's, it's really cool but it's mental how spread out it is and like sectioned off they've got it down to T though one ways you know and like crossings and all that so but it, like there's no like mass um um like takeover there's all the big supermarkets and all that was wasn't there but this was something i did just before i went and cleared a shelf out and uh it's the jurassic park collection um it's a car there um the pop file that's never had a home now got a home the original vhs the laser disc there and when i was a kid um me and my cousin Brian we lost our nana at such an early age which is a massive influence um, to me and Brian and we were just hyped at Jurassic Park um, the toys the toys the toys and a few of the toys that I remember but this guy I totally forgot about until I seen him um, this guy here I'm not sure if Brian ended up with him or anything but yeah uh, I just totally totally remember him well, I don't even know what kind of dinosaur it is he's like a proper Tractivated, why not? But he's literally gonna live there and uh, be part of uh, the collection, so that was pretty cool. So, a bit of nostalgia there as Hyra Chews are born in the background. I could do with a Jeff Goldblum sitting on the truck or something like that, but again, just hunting stuff down. See you in the next outtake. Hello, hello, are we rolling? Are we rolling? Welcome to Barcelona technically so uh, it's been booked for a while that we would go to Barcelona to see bring me the horizon and I did remember it was something I agreed to <laughs> months ago um, and then thinking Covid might take a strike I don't know if I want to film this because I don't want to rant I don't know how it's going to be Shh, how we go down the history lane nah let's just leave it there call me beard and yeah I don't need any more filming to do We'll put this as an outtake. So yeah, this is an outtake for Welcome to Benidorm. The idea is when I'm just going to talk about really, I did think it was probably going to get cancelled because um, of COVID and the passes and everything just seems to be. Everyone's like, Christmas, like, fucking lockdown force coming. And then all of a sudden, everyone's like, don't worry about masks, do whatever the fuck you want. I'm like, what? You know what I mean? It hasn't even hit January yet. For the band to cancel, um, we found out a week ago today. And Ryanair, what a fuck on Ryanair has been. I mean, the customer service was absolutely shocking. The woman who took over the conversation because I wanted to speak to a supervisor, because all I wanted was a voucher. If I can have a voucher for the next year, or whenever I need it, fine. But don't tell me to rebook a flight to another date, so then when the other date's available, I can open it and move it again. Each time cost me £90. That's the best advice you can give me? Fuck right off. Seriously, she was fucking horrible on the phone. And I'm like, the kind of customer service is this? Yeah, non-refundable flight. I didn't book the flight. It was a present. So we're still going to Barcelona at this point. Um, it's a bit order and chaos. Got to drive to Edinburgh. Um, see my friend Sheila. Um, then drive back the day. And then back to work the day after that. So it's going to be hectic. Um, as I said, I'm filming this on the big camera. I'm not taking the big camera away. I'm going to take the small camera. The camera that has survived since new zealand and like if it breaks while we're away i've got my new iphone that's what you know what i mean but again i'm always going to be like trying to hold your iphone like this <laughs> just i just can't do it i just give a quick the camera boom but it'd be great to be back in spain as i used to live in spain um i enjoyed it when i went to uh, alicante a few years back and it's all around the same area but man it's just mental it's just mental so this is an outtake for Welcome to Barcelona, as it's probably going to be called. Or oh, welcome, can't be called welcome back to Spain. I don't know if it's going to cross over the old Spain. I don't know. It's all messy. I don't know. It's unpredictable. I'm just ranting away. Come back for now. So I can't post Phil's letter because the post office has no stamps. And then, while I was trying to pay some money in, which I didn't change all the way, 
he just went off and served somebody else. I was like, hello? Hello? Okay. So. Let's open these. What will the package be? What will the package be? What will the door shut? When I see this behemoth car next to us, right, just parked in front, going, right, you know, there's people behind you, you know, check. So, yeah. This has not been in my bin for 11 days. That's a Goonies video you need to check out. Mm -hmm. It's come from the States. Yeah, it's got Kentucky written on there. Kentucky. We don't know anyone in Kentucky. Is that the missing one? I don't know. Um, I'll it have will to be. Check. When did you complain it hadn't come? It was the day before we went away, or the day we went away was it? Yeah, so that, that's the, that turned up that day. I'll check the reference number, but that seems very quick. From Kentucky, that's mega quick. We're now in Gateshead, and we've brought two of the pictures because. B and Q, one of fourteen pound. The Rangers mint for frames, but we need to do it now because me and Britt don't have many days off for the rest of the month, do we? No. We're doing the laps, trying to find something that fits. There's Pikachu. He's lost. Got some frames up. Turn the bug up. <laughs> so you can now book for next year. Fucking honest to God, Ryanair. Fuck you. Like literally. We couldn't change the flights because the flights weren't available, but now they are. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, look who it is! Oh, it's time. Special yes. delivery! Amazing time. The tests are here! Ira, these tests are wrong, mate. I'm blaming you. It's all good. I have to go back to work. Hello in the Barcelona video. It's only like three months later, literally. So hopefully this is near the end. I'm not going to say it's the very end. I'm going to chuck this right bang in the middle of the outtake so there'll be bits to come. No idea what's been before. Wow, this hat is way too small for my head. And I was just testing to see if I can pull this t-shirt off. If I keep sucked in, I'll be fine. Up and down and wait. Still a veggie though, did very well, but yeah. Yeah, this hat is way too small, so thanks to Ali, my New Zealand mom, for that. Right, I just want to put this in here and just say, look, at any point, the camera, this camera's about had it, and I've just ordered a new camera finally. The crunching, obviously when you're trying to film it. Yeah, so, fell on it in New Zealand, I'm not going to cut that footage. Plenty of videos, check out, welcome to IT Adora, when I fall and smash the camera. I can't believe I seen it three years ago. I just heard Stephen come in his little editing room next door. So basically I wanted to put that out there and say it's been months later, I'm trying my best to power through it. Saving it's taken ages. I think one of the problems I've really had is the different variants of files. Obviously filming on an iPhone, then filming on a big camera, small camera, crunchy camera, audio, and then you know just file after file after file. Even thought about breaking it in five parts and then I look back at if you know check out another one called Welcome the Wicker Man where I go and find actual bits of the Wicker Man, the five part. I always wish that was one. Like, I maybe would revisit that down the line, but right, put it in one vlog. Um, but I had fun and like, the drive to do it because Welton to Alicante was never finished. So, finishing Welton to Barcelona does mean a lot to us. So, hopefully, I'll get it done tonight. But I've got nowhere to put this in a separate video. So, if you didn't know this, I'm a massive fan of the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. There's the Blu ray. There's the, the more expensive one called Slim. That is Slim. And then you got Jumbo. I got Jumbo quite recently from EMP, a really good website to keep an eye on. I think both of them are actually from EMP. Get them there and then, that's where I got the Frog Brothers from. That's where I got Gizmo in his little car. Like, like if you're a pop fan collector, check that website out. And Britt, the other day, thanks to Be More Geek, came home with the two missing ones. Now, I'm a guy who keeps them out of the box, and I'll tell you what, whoever pre-owned this, this guy was not in his box, because that box was as slack as, well, I was going to say, no, no, but none's on slack, depends. So there's Shorty, and we're going to have Spikey, and Spikey comes with a little balloon dog. 
So I've got the balloon dog still up in the attic somewhere. I think I don't think it's made it down here. It'll be in one of the boxes if you go back over the videos. Especially check out the Predator tribute and uh, with a clown in the woods with a dog and stuff like that. Or if you check out um, what was it? In memory of music video when we recycled that footage for it. He's pretty cool as well. No, 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 no. The dog, the spint. I love the movie. Soundtrack's coming out very soon on Waxworks. I haven't opted for it yet because I've had quite a few problems with the Waxworks stuff and then customs and stuff like that. But um, I'm going to put them on the shelf and there's some artwork there from Evil Eye Art in the corner. Um, I've also got the two variants because Arrow have released it twice. And then I've got the DVD and VHS knocking around somewhere. But just to have a gang together... Um, and yeah, put the pop finals in the box. So when I go to put the pop finals in the box, I'll be digging through the loft and find out the dog and then because maybe put the dog there. So check out Lonely Tree Entertainment for somewhere down the line with the killer clowns. I'll not be uh, adjusting it with the clown anytime soon because I have this beard. Yes, yes, yes. I might have a brief cameo in the Goonies tribute video we did recently for the Weed Wacky but wonderful. But for now, enjoy the rest of the video. This is the last thing in the timeline and hopefully it's done, dusted and sorted. If not, you remember this? It's better than fuck all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next bit of the video. Dun, dun, dun. There you go. Not see that very often. Creeping in the corner of the bedroom. Um, that's going to have its own video because there's so much hidden in it. Yes, it's Gizmo. But yeah, we'll get there with a different video for that. Here's an outtake for the Komodo review. There it is, the Komodo dragon. Yep, yeah, we're in Barcelona right now. And that's made us do the review. Hello in the outtakes for Welcome to Barcelona. I watch Komodo. One of the first films back, um, obviously I've seen the Komodo dragon. Um, there's a guy in this from Mafia, there's a guy in this from The Colony. It took us a while to remember where they were from. Um, CGI isn't too bad, it's from the writer of Anaconda and the special effects creator of Russell Park, Tibbet Studios. Um, pretty brutal, um, just a load of... Uh, I mean it should be called... Um, Komodos, Komodos, but less on the end, Stephen. Komodos, because there's loads of them. Um, just let you take it over. Not a bad, you know, horror film. Um, it's well packaged from back in the day, you know, straight to DVD. Well designed on that, you know. Just flopped a bit, you know, but yeah. Wasn't that much to be shouting about. Um, I was thinking about maybe as a review, but no, it's like that. It's not even going to probably make a podcast. It's just ready to go. Justified by putting it in the outtakes. What's in there? Whiskey. Ah. I carried that all over Edinburgh from Spain from you. From Barcelona. Searching for Wicker Man. Found him. I, it was there all this time. <laughs> I was meant to say they've got no other place, so the Audion, Aaron at the Audion, give us this today, so hello. Now, if you follow on the better than nothings, you know that me, Two Frag, and the legendary Matty Connor, not to say that Two Frag isn't a legend in his own right, um, went to see the new Nicolas Cage film, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. And Aaron just went, there you go. Because like every man cinema was awesome and they did look high and low for a poster for us. And uh I knew there was two, but I didn't realise. Yeah, they did look and then Aaron was good, oh don't worry, I've got one of these. So I knew it was a quad, and obviously the problem here is where the quads go, no idea. If you haven't seen this, it's absolutely awesome. Um, so I'm not sure where the quad would go or if quads, a lot of quads just get filed, but I didn't realize oh, it was a one sheet as well. So thank you very much, man. It's awesome. Nicholas Cage is Nick Cage. The unbearable weight of massive talent. So yeah, this is the final time you see us. Not for the video, I don't know. It might be. You might see Lonely Tree next, you might not. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. Absolutely hate penguins. I caved, I literally cage caved. <laughs> there it is, it's up, framed. So originally was there was hard rain, which has been there since I moved in the house. Hard rain poster is on the other side of the room. 
um, the one I got signed by Morgan Freeman and Christian Slater so I couldn't justify having two Christian Slater hard rain posters vampires from New Zealand pray they're all the boys what a world and Demolition Man all have a story and all can be changed bye and there we go there's the frames they've only fell off twice it's been about two months so that's where they are that's where they ended and that's where this clip ends hello have you missed me all the way from this I didn't get invited to Barcelona. I don't have a passport actually. Mm. But again, on that, not a lot of travel you see. Airplanes and all that shit and jizzles. But yeah, should have left me in the house alone all this time. <laughs> Bye for now.